People often ask me how to survive professionally in Poland. Normally I tell them that if you're willing to work hard and learn the language, there are many opportunities here. However, I wanted to take a closer look at the possibilities, so I traveled to Podkarpatskia with an emerging economy and industrious history to see why people do business in Poland. Some would argue that thanks to the work of Ignacy Łukasiewicz, technology propagated in this region of Poland has paved the way for the world we know today. On the 31st of July, 1853, a kerosene lamp invented in Lviv was lit publicly for the first time. The event went down in history as the symbolic date of the advent of the oil industry. It's mind-boggling to consider that nearly every modern convenience we know wouldn't be possible without this 50 meter manually dug pit from the 1800s. Shortly after this site was established, it was said to have been visited by a delegate of the Rockefeller Company, who brought the knowledge back to the United States, changing the world forever. Local legend even proclaims that Rockefeller had personally visited this area. I can't believe that you can take a liquid out of the ground and power an airplane. Poland gets some points for innovation. For starters, loads of aviation servicing happens in this part of Poland, and it's not a coincidence because standing in front of me is the largest hangar in the country. Actually, it's one of the largest hangars in Central Europe, and it's the only one capable of servicing Boeing's famous Dreamliner. Furthermore, this is the second longest runway in Poland, and it is even capable of accommodating the largest aircraft in the world. In fact, this entire region is known as Aviation Valley and is well versed in aerospace technology. It's also one of the few regions where the Black Hawk helicopter is produced outside of the United States. In 2007, PZL Militz joined the Sikorsky aircraft family. This was the beginning of a new era. The location was chosen as a production site for global players such as Lockheed Martin on account of its 80 plus years of aviation experience. Even producing such famous aircraft as the Black Hawk helicopter, which is used by the US military and beyond. Now maybe you're actually in the business of gliding, actually. I found out that that can also be arranged here in Milits. All right, well, I'm not even going to try to describe that sensation. Okay. Oh my, oh no. Short disclaimer, my pilot was world class. I was not. Turns out, I'm not brave enough for G-force and acrobatics. Cześć, Paweł, witam. Pan mi pokazuje jakiś samolot dla silnika dzisiaj, tak? Oczywiście. Szybowiec słucha, to są, to są szybowiec w zasadzie dopuszczony do, do pełnej akrobacji. No, na samolotach są, są procedury, są checklisty, to wszystko trzeba robić według takiego schematu. W szybownictwie jest taka wolność, więc to jest fajne. Tak, teraz będzie dość strome wznoszenie za chwilę po oderwaniu. Okay, here we go. He's flying. No, 
Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Well, that's different. You just shot off, basically, it, like shooting out of a gun. And I thought that gliders were supposed to be like this calm, chilled experience. Oh my, oh my, oh no! Oh Jesus, oh this is, oh my God. All right, I just gotta chill. You have the imagination for how it would be to crash in an airplane. <laughs> yeah, very funny, very funny. Uh, and then the other freaky thing he did was a low pass, which is like sharp at the ground. You think, oh my God, we're gonna crash. No, just don't ask me, dude. Never again. Altogether, yes, you should try it once in your life. Now, we're on to the next location. Although Rolls Royce is also in the area, motorcycle culture is so conspicuous here that a recent episode of American Chopper was shot at this Harley Davidson dealership, which also happens to be one of the largest in Europe. So I met up with the management to learn a little bit more about their business. Cześć, witam Was, nazywam się Paweł Pomianek. Znajdujemy się w salonie Harley Davidson Rzeszów oraz Game Over Cycles. Troszkę opowiem Wam o naszych motocyklach, głównie customowych. Zapraszam Was do naszego świata. The Recidivist, czyli pierwszy na świecie pokryty skórą, motocykl oraz wytatuowany. Powstał w 2014 roku, jest w całości zbudowany przez naszą firmę. Pewne elementy, które tutaj zauważycie, nie wzięły się też bez powodu. Motocykl miał jakby z założenia wyglądać jak kryminalista, który wychodzi po 30-letniej odsiadce i całe jego ciało pokryte jest tatuażami. The Harley dealership felt so American that it was hard to believe I was standing in the middle of Europe. And that's not a coincidence, as the relationships between America and Poland have always been historically strong. The friendship between Podkarpatskia and America runs deep. Consider the story of Inglot Cosmetics, where a dreamer traveled to the United States for business inspiration. Today, the company has their own shop in Times Square, with a headquarters here. And here's another fun fact. I don't suppose you'd often find an American flag properly folded in most high-level Polish government conference rooms. There's a reason for that. It signifies the deep bond with the Polish people who now live in the United States. Furthermore, it was here that President Duda had his first phone call with President Trump. I'm always amazed by what is revealed when looking beyond the obvious. In my opinion, Podkarpatskia is full of hidden gems. From my own family history, to amazing tourist sites and outstanding food, I have fallen in love with this part of Poland. But after this visit, I can confidently say that the region also offers professionals a higher level of innovation.